in our last lesson uh, we talked about the effect of solvent on a solute uh, where we investigated the effect of uh, water and methyl benzene on acids and uh, bases we realize that hydrogen chloride gas is able to ionize in water because of uh, the non polarity of water and the gas and that enables the hydrogen chloride gas to show acidic property in water the same does not take place in methyl benzene a reason being that hydrogen chloride remain a molecule in methane benzene which is a non-polar solvent meaning it does not ionize to give hydrogen ions responsible for the acidic property similarly ammonia as a base is able to ionize in water to give the hydroxyl ion that is able of uh, that enables it to show the basic property and that does not happen in the case of methyl benzene uh, because the ammonia molecule will simply remain as a molecule and will not uh, give the hydroxyl ions hence no basic uh, property today in this lesson uh, let us talk about amphoteric oxides and uh, hydroxides what are these amphoteric oxides and uh, hydroxides now these are oxides and hydroxides exhibiting both acidic and basic properties ie they react as both acids and bases to form salt and water alessa a look at examples of uh, amphoteric oxides and uh, hydroxides to start with the oxides they include zinc oxide lead 2 oxide and finally we have uh, aluminium 
ऑक्साइड दैट इज द फॉर्मूला ऑफ एल्युमिनियम ऑक्साइड दैट इज लेड टू ऑक्साइड एंड दैट इज जिंक ऑक्साइड द हाइड्रोक्साइड्स इंक्लूड same metals so that is zinc hydroxide aluminum hydroxide and uh, lead to hydroxide let us now uh, look at the reactions between uh, this oxide how they react how they react as an acid and a base and the first one we want to look at the reaction of lead to oxide as a base that is lead to oxide which is a base plus nitric 5 acid dilute to form lead to nitrate and water simply forming salt and water to balance the equation we have there two and therefore our equation is a fully a balanced Let's look at lead to oxide as an acid. It will be lead to oxide solid plus sodium hydroxide as a base. and that gives sodium plumbate that is sodium plumbate plus water of course salt plus water this is what we call sodium plumbate plus water the next one i want to look at zinc oxide as a base and acid that is number 2 zinc oxide as a base that is zinc oxide plus uh, an acid uh, we can work with the same acid or change the acid and still have the same thing so that is sulfuric 6 acid will give zinc sulfate aqueous plus water the state symbols important the equation is self balanced 
zinc oxide as an acid will give zinc oxide plus sodium hydroxide that gives sodium zincate that is what we call sodium zincate plus water that is the first uh, two reactions involving zinc oxide and uh, lead 2 oxide uh, let's look at the one between uh, aluminium oxide we start by as a base as a base it reacts with nitric acid aluminium oxide plus nitric 5 acid to form aluminium nitrate plus water that is 2 6 and the equation is balanced you can have 3 there yes so next is uh, aluminium oxide as an acid and that gives aluminium oxide plus sodium hydroxide which is a base forming sodium aluminate This is sodium aluminate. Plus water. In this reaction, metal oxides are uh, reacting as uh, bases and also as acids in the case where they are reacting as acids we have formation of uh, colorless solution such as sodium zincate for the case of zinc oxide we have uh, sodium plumbate for the case of lead 2 oxide and also sodium aluminate that is when we use aluminium oxide the hydroxides will also react in a similar manner and they are going to uh, give uh, different colorless solution are when they react with the sodium hydroxide and for the case where they react as bases they also give 
respective metal salt and water. That is all about amphoteric oxides and uh, hydroxides. But you have to know that hydroxides react in a, a similar manner that is as uh, oxides. So we don't need to write other equations for the hydroxides. They will follow the same trend uh, except the case of uh, balancing due to difference in uh, formulae. So that is the end of our lesson today.